Welcome and thank you for joining our Music for Global Change broadcast with founder and music ambassador Skylar Jett and presenter Tom Bryant and Ryan Shuchuk. And our special guest today is Shelley Rogers. Well, welcome to the show, Shelley Rogers. You are ex lecturer in photography at SERC Northern Ireland. Uh, you are the founder of World Equal and World Equal Mag Book, formerly known as Equal Fashion Magazine or Equal Magazine. Uh, you're also the founder of groundbreaking Belfast, London, Edinburgh and Newry Alternative Fashion Week. You hold qualifications including a BA Honours in Fine and Applied Arts, a PGCFHE in Further Education and an MFA in Fine Arts and Applied Arts undertaken at the University of Ulster. So there's loads more to talk about with you Shelley so welcome to the show and uh, please tell us more. Basically, we started Equal Off 2013-14 and we had just this mad idea to bring everything together within the arts and culture and bring it all into sort of one magazine. Um, and then what actually happened from that is then the shows started just because there were so many people in the magazine. What we wanted to do was to have the magazine come to life basically, and um, showing a range of diversity with many different age groups, many different backgrounds, many different cultures, and it all happened. And we did it for eight years now. After pandemic, this is us launching again. What I love the most is the diversity part. Because mm -hmm. when, you, when you talk about equal and diversity, that's exactly that. Right, yeah. and uh, that your magazine is so beautiful. Your eye is amazing as a as a photographer. I mean, you took that eye kind of picture of me, and I, it was just so fast. I was like, oh, okay, you're done. Just, I'm done. <laughs> I mean, you know, wow, you know. Uh, well, this but, is our new cover, <laughs> never been seen before. So you yeah. guys are having the exclusive of that. And, How about that? and I took this in literally five minutes in the street. <laughs> the oh, wow. portrait. Wow. <laughs> Brilliant. In London, when I went over to see okay. Teddy Hay a few weeks ago, yeah, so yeah. I literally had five minutes. Uh, but yeah. that's what you do it in. You just capture, you know, these these moments. And and I, what I love about it is like, I love the fashion shows that you have, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I mean, you you see everybody, you know, big big tall, all kind of colors, and you know what I mean. But and the fashion is just off the chain so you know it's, it's all at the uh belfast castle i had a ball yeah Thank you. <laughs> we had a great time and um, put before the pandemic um and we were just really getting into the groove of everything we were doing and then the pandemic hit and the shows sort of everything collapsed and um, but now we're hoping to have a new show next year we're just done the first mag book it's called a mag book because it's there's no advertisements in it whatsoever it's 380 pages it's uh, more like a book than a magazine and there's really five of us that have been working on it over a series of six months so we've achieved a lot and really really want to thank all the people who have come on board with it and been in it and done interviews with us because it's been yeah. marvelous absolutely marvelous and the uh, uh, we, I don't want to give too much away of who's in it or what's happening. Um, Skylar knows everything, of course, because he's one of our partners <laughs> along with Hayes. It's really happening, and um, we're we're very very blessed. It would have happened sooner had I had I not had to homeschool, but I did, and I really enjoyed doing that. Obviously, being a, a teacher, mine was in further and higher education, and um, so it was really really interesting sort of bringing everything back to basics for me um, and starting to teach English from a real primary level, um, sort of bringing your mind into a totally different mind, mindscape and starting over again almost. So yeah, um, so I kind of did that, but in the teaching side of it, as well as teaching at that time, a seven-year-old. So yeah, it, it's been Lovely. really interesting and not <laughs> yeah and as soon as you went back to school we're like right okay what are we doing with equal not only that now we're starting our merchandising and um, so we're starting to print bags and hats t-shirts and 
we've got all that coming on as uh, in between of what we're doing with the magazine and then hopefully planning a show for next year obviously it'll probably be in belfast castle our first one because we're used to that environment and we're used to doing shows there sure. and um, it's a very iconic venue as well and um, for belfast yeah. so it's it's pretty cool. We've been there many times, so we'll just be heading back, <laughs> heading back right. after we see how all the festivals happen this year, all the bigger ones. Right. You got a question? Yeah, I do. Uh, so, if we could step back for a second, I want to understand uh, Equal a little bit more. So, Equal uh, is a online magazine, but you also have a print version, and and you do the fashion shows, like you were saying, alternative fashion week and things like that. So. How did you come? How did you come across to create Equal in the first place? And how long? How long has it been? My uh, my mother and me created Equal as she was dying. Okay. Um, and that was in two thousand and thirteen. Okay. She said, "I'd done I'd done about twenty front covers in different magazines in the north of Ireland, and um, she was very business savvy." And um, so she she said, "Why don't we just start our own magazine?" Um, mm. And I'm like why not you're doing so much of the photography and you're teaching it and giving it your yourself to everybody else why don't you do something for yourself and at that time she didn't realize she was sick and then a few weeks later she was told she had six weeks to live oh, so um, wow. uh, and at the same time um i then um got my niece and i had to foster my niece at the same time uh -huh. so i had two baby monitors one in one room and one in another room and i was listening to them breathing and i was everything's the beginning and the end is just exactly the same and you know i'm an artist and mm -hmm. i like to create what i see and feel and what's around me and it, it, it you know it's representative of my life of what i was doing you know bringing diversity to northern ireland and bringing the two sides together was really important to me and then it, mm -hmm. it sort of spiraled into so much more than that and um, so that's how it was originally started and that's where the sort of name came up and having everything equal everything the same right um because the baby was premature by a uh, three months my niece and i had in one room maya who was four pounds and in, in another room my mother who was passing away a cancer and then there was just me really wow. so wow. so that's where the wow. equality came from and not only that she she's from a very diverse background as well so um we were brought up in in a quite a diverse way um okay. working yeah. with a lot of, so you know that and seeing that everybody being the same and to have no sort of prejudiced against anyone and um I, now when you look back I, we were blessed mm. both myself and That's my right. brother is that is the diversity is that what brought the sort of alternative word to fashion week like how what, what yeah in your in you like what is alternative meaning to you well in the in the fashion sense and mm -hmm. how the fashion week uh, came about um was I, I think everyone, all the models looked the same, hmm. you know, they, they, they were very, very similar, w working together, looking exactly the same, a replica of each other, all the same sizes, no diversity whatsoever, gotcha. no tattoos, right. no, very, very few changes from one model to the next, hmm. you know. And um, it was really important for me to um, introduce petite models, larger models, anybody who that I, that caught my eye that would be in the fashion shows. I was like, "Come on, let's do this!" And Ta tattoos, um, tattoos everywhere. Yeah, tattoos <laughs> everywhere. One of the third shows that I did was um, equal art, equal equal art and ink show in the Europa Hotel in Belfast. Mm. Oh wow! And it was all tattoos oh, so wow. um it was pretty cool wow. and the yeah. the the next few uh, shows that i did um one of them was all the, the clothes were made of rubbish oh, oh okay yeah. wow <laughs> nobody even knows that that was the last one skylar was that which was everything was recycled apart oh, from yeah. the wedding no, no. I, you, I wanted to ask you upcycled Upcycled. Yeah. Yeah, right <laughs> That's the new. Yeah. That's the new term. We got all this new terminology for us old yeah. guys. 
how important is music to fashion? Well, I think live music is so important to the entire industry of the arts and how that it's, it, that it's brought into fashion, how the, it, that it's represented and how it's put together and how it's shown and that it isn't taken over by digital music all the time. Right. And the, I think the live musicians, because all our, all our shows had live musicians in the background right. of the fashion yeah. shows, every single one. So there wasn't one where we just like hit a track and come on, let's do this. It was all three or four different bands, maybe up to six bands at a yeah. time. And that, that's what made our different because you had that energy that you didn't have um, yeah. with the other shows. So, I, I, yeah. I just want to thank I want to thank you for that because <laughs> it, I mean, you, you give people a couple of things to look at. You're looking at great fashion and plus you're looking at talent at the same time. And, and it, I mean, it's all coming together at once, you know, on the night, you know, and um, there's no rehearsals. We have a, rehearsals during the day. So, but you know, the, everything you see on that night is, is it's happening on that night. And <laughs> the sound, the bands, everything. So I think we I had six it. bands at the last show. Yeah. And the, the cool thing is, you know, uh, I, I love watching people watch models right yeah. and and they're looking they're looking like i wonder if i could wear that or whatever you know or that i love that you know uh mm -hmm. tom tom you got a question uh i do yeah i mean just it dovetails really on what we we're just saying now really want to know um how long it takes you to produce a show uh, and where do you get your ideas from? We just mentioned there about your sort of upcycling, recycling uh, show that you had there. Where do you, where do you get your ideas from for, for the different shows that you do? And how do you make it different uh, each time? How do we make it different each time for the shows? Yeah. yeah. Generally, we have different designers, so that makes it different. Um, mm. We try to stick with, you know, plus size models, petite models, different heights, um, and okay. different ev everything with the models it we did we, we don't keep anything the same you know gotcha. so um, but how do i get my ideas and how did i get my ideas for the shows and mm -hmm. um, which was the original question is from the magazines generally okay. whenever i'm working with people in the magazine and i've done an interview with them i'm like hell do you want to do a show uh, do you want to be right, part okay. of the next show and then that's how I put everything together. So I, I, I researched them extensively. I've talked to them, and then the next minute they're in the magazine and they're on the show, and maybe they're on TV. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's good stuff. And, right. and, and these fashion designers, they, do they approach you, or are you uh, kind of just pick people you think have cool look? Sometimes, they, sometimes we get a, mostly get approached um, by different people. Like yeah. Jean Jacket, we got approached by them um, to do the to do, and they ended up being one of our sponsors for one of our last shows. Um, right. So yeah, so you know it can be either way or some like through somebody that we know or you know whatever which way it happens. Yeah, that, but I generally, mean, yeah. But see, I always go back. Thank you for having music because <laughs> it's yeah. Well, we, we, we've changed the to Arts and Culture magazine and we're actually going to change it to Music, Arts and Culture. Mm, um, yeah. So originally when this when this comes out, which will be next week, um, which will be Monday, it's Music, Arts and Culture. We're completely finished, which is great. So yeah. really, really good. Mm. Really, really good. And their next one then will be in six months time in spring. Now, when do you, when do you think you're going to do another, another event? We're hoping to do another event next summer. Yeah. But there's so it can it's either going to be in Uri or in Belfast. Okay. Yeah, well, Uri uh, or in where, where, where would you where will you have it at in Uri? Oh, we already had one in Uri. It was Canal Court. We would love to do one in London, but that would be after we do one at home. Where where we're situated is in between Belfast and Dublin. 
So okay. Newry is right bang in the center of Belfast and Dublin. So in the middle. You may yeah, in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. And, so and when you fly, and, you can fly into Belfast or Dublin Airport. Yeah. And and Ross Trevor is right there too. I'm outside Ross Trevor. I'm in Ballymartin. Ballymartin. Okay. But it's like it's right. really close. Yeah, I'm still in the cottage. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love. I just. I love your place. I, I love coming to your place. Right. You got another question? Yeah. I just wanted to uh, touch on the the magazine aspect a little more. You said that you know you're focused on arts and culture and obviously fashion and and music. Um, are the top? Are there any other topics that you're focused on for the articles? And uh, is it primarily based? Is it primarily UK based? I guess. Um. We're hoping for it to be world-based, but mm. our patent is registered for the UK. Okay. Um, but I'm not necessarily a 100% a fashion person. Sure. I'm photography. Right. <laughs> I'm a portrait artist. <laughs> like fashion just came in there, you know, like like it's a visual. bullet and kind of took over everything. Um, but. Yeah. Uh, and everyone thinks that I'm really interested in fashion, which yes, I am, of course, you know, um, but photography and portrait photography is my main aspect and looking at the people and who they are and what kind of, what background, what the background's like, where they come from, that kind of thing is more interesting to me than fashion or what somebody's wearing. So do you, do you interview, or is it an interview type articles? Are you interviewing other portrait photographers? Things like that? No. Uh, we ha we have got two portrait photographers, but I'm not going to tell you who they okay. are. <laughs> and um, we no have a, a number of um, really really cool interviews. Mm -hmm. um, I think we've got something like twenty odd interviews. Okay, wow. So yeah, um, and most of them are pretty long as well. So oh, as cool. I say, it's cool. three hundred and eighty pages without ads. Wow. wow. Yeah. No Who are some of the guests? She can't well, say. Who are some of the guests? She can't say. Can't say. <laughs> keeping, that, keeping that one under wraps, I'd say. You're lucky you're getting this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, Nobody's I, seen this. I used to be. A, I used to be a portrait <laughs> photographer. If that helps. Dryer, okay. So this is really important because this is took the, took these guys thirty years to put on the show. Okay, so well, it's the right. Bob Marley get up stand up. And uh, Clint is the director, producer, yeah. and yeah. Um, he basically he, he done the interview with Teddy Hayes, and um, it was it's a really important event and a really important show, and um, in it was done in London, and um, you know, especially because it took so long for Rita Marley to be able to put the show on, um, thirty years, um, it's yeah. it's a very 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 massive milestone and that's why clint's on the front it is it's a hot he's show in london I know. yeah he's the deputy director of the national theater of london yeah i, I mean and that's in the west end too so so yeah you know that's yeah. like being on so, broadway in new york right mm. yes so i think that it's hoping to go to broadway maybe um next so that would be good especially for no it's it's, <laughs> it's hot it's hot but but yeah. the events that you put uh, what's cool about them is like uh all the the designers they want to show their wares right and uh, see i'm going to help produce a show with you so so that can make make it all make what make sense with the going in off the stage coming back on uh, if you make make even more of a show of it do you know what yeah, because that's that's tall. all. <laughs> exactly. The castle is too tall. Exactly. That's, very, that's our just that's just our t that's just a taster of what's become. I, I, well, that, that's it, where we'll have. I would say that's where we'll have our first show. But hope you know if wherever it goes, we're we're delighted with it. You know, we never thought we'd get even to this point. You know, and it just happens really organically and really naturally. So. That's what's the the nicest thing about Equal. That it really yeah. did our world 
well that it really does happen organically and it brings people together and i think that especially with so much going on at the moment it's important to stay positive it's important for people to come together i think it's important for people to work together i think it's really important for artists especially to come together because they lead the way in showing people what's exactly happening and how it's happening and i think mm -hmm. that we really need to become serious about what we're doing absolutely tom you got another question yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about your uh, your own background, Shelley, and where, where you come from with regard to the, the your passion for photography, for example. Is that something you've held from a from a from childhood or where did that come from for you? No, I've been an artist from I would I was born. I I, I you know, my father wanted me to be a lawyer. <laughs> that didn't happen. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> um and then I had a se severe injury when I was younger um, that it, uh, he also wanted me to ride horses. I couldn't do that because I, I, I broke my tibia amphibia in yeah. half in a, oh, in a wow. car accident yeah. underneath uh, uh, the wheel of the car rim. Mm. So whenever that happened, I couldn't, I couldn't ride any more horses. Um, so after that, um, there's not much to do if you've got a broken leg sitting around being an artist is great and i had the talent for it so i did it <laughs> and then when i got older you know it evolved from art into photography because photography was the medium that was what was happening whenever i was in college you know yeah. you know let there was no one of the maddest things is there was no you know but CCTV or anything whenever I was in uni, mm. you know, I'm, I'm working from a dark room then, you know, Film, yeah, so yeah. Um, it was just a phenomenal thing to be living through. You're living through 30 years of history where you're coming from. There's absolutely no video, no, or, well, no, nothing visually that is, 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 you know, kind of looking at us as people mm -hmm. to having hundreds of cameras looking at us all the time. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm proud to be a part of that and I'm proud to be a yeah. portrait artist and I, and I always will be. Yeah. Speaking of, um, photo and film versus video. Um, I wanted to get your thoughts since this day and age right now, especially, you know, there's a rise of short form video and vertical video and, I know a lot of photographers are, you know, not thrilled with uh, th that shift. Uh, I want to get your thoughts on that. It does does that affect your your vision for the magazine, or you know, I mean, are you planning on you know utilizing more video um, as you continue to uh, evolve your brand? Well, we 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 already kind of done that. Mm -hmm. So. Um, we when we started working we put up our um work on lucid press first of all okay. um unfortunately our magazine was like too big at that time yeah. for lucid press they had to actually build a new platform to put it on and we Im embedded uh, videos into the magazine um so that's the direction where equals now going again um we had a, a different designer then but he's had to go to new zealand but because he's actually from new zealand but living in northern ireland mm -hmm he had to go home see his family so this is from a new designer um i work closely with the designers obviously okay. um but yeah we're so what we will be doing eventually within the um realms of our own website is embedding video videos into our pages um, and oh, nice. almost like you would see harry potter okay. <laughs> is cool. the easiest way to explain it um yeah so i had we we We've explored all of those avenues um, and th they've been really interesting. Um, we didn't just go straight at this where we're going, okay, what are we going to do? You know, we're really thinking about what we're going to do. We're working exactly with the people who we want to work with. And um, we've turned people down to work with. We've turned people down to talk to. We've turned people down to do so many different things. But, um, but now we're kind of just keeping it a really small, little pocket of people who are working intensely and um, we're loving it really are loving it excellent and we hope that we get our message across you did ask me before about diversity and what we're doing for this magazine for uh diversity and then mm -hmm. um, we done a review on coda which is the movie 
with oh, the, the girl. Yeah, the deaf mm. parents. Great film. Yeah, yeah. deaf parents. And if you if you see his hand, uh, Clint's hands, they're in sign language for um, equal. Oh. Um, wow. So wow. Only yeah. for uh, <laughs> it, it, this, people who are deaf as well can understand things within the magazine that necessarily the rest of yourselves don't. <laughs> Would you like to see the back cover? Language is just not. Um, is it upside work. down? Oh, no, no. no oh, it's not they're, they're laying. They lay. So so, you know. <laughs> yeah. Again, this is one of mine. I did the front cover and the back cover for this magazine. And Skylar, you haven't seen really anything so you know um you know you've seen the body of the magazine but then throughout the magazine there's quite a lot of my work in this one particular one so yeah no this is representative of news and the fact that it's upside down and news is upside down mm -hmm. and everyone's like oh did i get that wrong so they look on the back cover and they think it's the front cover and they're not quite sure so it's kind of almost like a plot puzzle as well yeah so you've got a lot yeah. of things on yeah, here too and um you know we, so we do have sign language going through the magazine and um we have sign language obviously with what the and the front cover the back cover and two interior pages and then we have a review on coda as well so you know bringing sign language into um magazines so that people they obviously people who are deaf can read um but yeah. it, it's like a, a reverse on that that hearing people <laughs> don't can't understand that it's kind of weird that they don't understand that no no I, you sent me some you know clips of it uh the magazine looks power it looks so powerful and beautiful and just you know illustrated beautiful and i i can't wait so it comes out in another week right well monday so not even a week so we get the final copy tomorrow and um, we're putting it live Monday at noon. Wow. So, yeah. I, and you yeah, get the preview, well, Scott. You always get the preview. You always yeah. get the preview. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Until they're ready to go. Well, th well thanks for putting. <laughs> thank, thanks for putting Tom and Ryan in, in, in this. I mean, we, we get in at the last minute. That's really cool. Thank you. Yeah, we appreciate yeah. that. Uh, that. You know, thank guys, you. We have two ads. Morn Prince, who's printing it for us, and yeah. yourselves. They're the only no, two ads in 380 pages. Oh, wow. That's cool. Uh, oh, and that's... What, a mag, it, what a mag book is, because it's coming up on the internet here and there on the moment, and a mag book is a reversal of um, a magazine. Okay, so you got a magazine, you, you go into the shop, you buy a magazine, it's all ads or people at a show sitting, you know, with the photos, mm. you know, all that there. This is actually a magazine that people read. So it reverses yeah. the amount of ads um, mm. for the amount of, so we've got 10% ads, that's what it's going to be in the end. But at the minute, it's like really 98%, no ads. Um, but we are going to have 10% ads and 90% um, just content. Because content, oh, content. content is what people need to hear. Yeah. The people here in the, in the background, Absolutely. not only the foreground of the arts, but the background of the arts, making the arts happen. Yep. Um, yeah. And that's yeah. where we need to be, and that's where we need to go. And that's where we need to go as a community together you know um, go ahead Sky. the content is so cool i mean uh i, I you know tom and i we had a uh, and, and john altman who's in the he's in the magazine as well mm. right Very blessed yeah. to have john give us an interview yes yeah. Um, yeah. And, uh, me there was four of us involved in interviewing john um and yourself um, so nearly all of us have put our bits in with questions for John Altman and, um, yeah. yeah, another one who's in the magazine who's, that's been let out is Paul Hurst and Paul Hurst, he, um, he's the editor of Star Wars, Mission yeah. Impossible, Carrie, oh, wow. Footloose. Um, so yeah, I interviewed, um, Paul the the questions really cool because obviously that's a big, me massive visuals for me and yeah. um, 
it's it really takes away from that i i really don't want people to see me as fashion because that's not what i ever was and mm. what i ever want to be and um, it was just right. a section that we were doing um mm. you know to 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 speak to an editor like that for me is just uh that's that's unbelievable do you know what i mean so yeah we have a full interview with paul hurst um Very and cool. we're hoping wow. to maybe work with him and maybe interview his son in the future but we're not sure and, and Richard Pryor's one of Rich Pryor's kids, huh? No, we 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 were keeping that for the, hopefully maybe we can uh, do rain for our next magazine. But um, yeah, we 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 have talked. That that's Wait gonna be it. some serious. That's gonna be some serious stories right there, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> About their well, dad. Well, we you know? seen, we've already done Paul Hurst, and we've done John Altman. And they're the yeah. only two names that I'm giving you on the moment for the magazine. Yeah, that's all you're getting. Um, that's all mm -hmm. you're getting. That's all you're getting. Couple and, of snippets. And, yeah. And Clint, um, with the with the Bob Marley show, Get Up, Stand Up, which is like amazing. But we have, I can't even, I can't even bring to tell you who else we have in there because I'm just, it's all just going to come out, and it's just, it, you're going to wait. You're going to make yeah. you wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, get ready, get ready. <laughs> Monday. You know Everybody's it coming. It's not, it's not staying in any longer. <laughs> oh, my God. Tom, you got another question? Yeah, I just really wanted to know what your future plans are with the with the magazine. You mentioned briefly just uh, a moment ago with, with uh, Ryan there that you were looking at maybe doing some kind of video content within the online um online uh, publication that you're doing is that where you where you see it going or what else do you see well, how else do you see gr growing it at the moment the future is so uncertain so you know um but i do see a hard copy and i do see us putting it into a digital realm and also with videos within it embedded in it mm -hmm. and then also maybe computer games maybe oh wow. okay oh right wow yeah, yeah. And obviously evolution. we'll be having Obviously, we'll have, be having a presence on Meta and things like that, um, mm. starting to advertise on there, especially with our merchandise and linking that through. You know, that's very important. Um, mm. And any of the new platforms that come uh, come our way, obviously, if they're safe, um, a lot of things in the past haven't been. Um, now that the security stepped up online, we're really happy about that. So mm. people don't get confused as to who we are. Um, so we'd step it up a bit more and let's get going with the real people. That's right. The, the real people. Hand. Time to scale. scale. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. No, okay. Yeah. So that's, that's the future is you know, it's hard work and it's just going to be what we've been doing all this time, except we're going to be able to have more time and we have more dedicated people on board who are more, are working with us in a better way. Mm, that's, that's great. great. That's uh, great to hear. Yeah. Well, and keeping so, everything positive rather than negative is to that anyway. Thank you so much, Shelly, for coming. I, I just, I love you so much and I, you know, I, I love this magazine and what you're doing, and I support it, and I'm thank I'm thankful to be a part of it and a partner now, and I, I can't thank you enough for that. Uh, Skylar, I you can't thank I mean? you enough. I love you the bits, and really nice to meet your your Music for Global Teens team, and um, hopefully we'll be doing lots of work in the future. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, look and like I said, yeah, we do. And Let's get going. I, we can't. We're, we're going to be able to look in your magazine to see music for global change broadcast. You know, my family. It's really cool. Over two pages as well in in big. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Well, we're, we're gonna try to, we're gonna try I don't to, do nothing. We're, we're, go, we're gonna try to get everything you need tomorrow, and uh, no, no, but we don't have high. We we don't have a uh, high res, but. Uh, 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 Ryan has another one too. We're going to look it over and just get you something tomorrow by tomorrow. Is that okay? I think, I think it might be okay for okay for the for our sizing. But if it isn't, then I'll get in contact with Ryan and Tom, and we'll take care of it. Sounds, Sounds good. good. You got it, Tom. Okay, Brilliant. you got. I I love you. Very nice to meet you, nice love to meet you Shelley. Thank much you so love, much. Love okay. Namaste. Namaste. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, take care now. Thanks.
Thank you so much for watching. To stay up to date, please click subscribe and hit the bell. You can also join our group on Facebook and find us on LinkedIn and Instagram.